All right, so it is December 26th, 2013, and it is about 10 minutes until midnight. So I'm getting this vlog recorded just in the nick of time. And I'm actually recording on a new phone that I just got a few hours ago, the iPhone 5C. And I gave my other one to my oldest daughter. Um, her phone had a shattered front screen on it she had like a windows phone so we had been talking about getting her an iphone for a little while and figured now is the best time or as good of a time as any i was eligible for an upgrade so i did that um today was my wife's birthday and i gave her you know her um birthday presents uh, this morning when i got home from work and so she got a few things that she was wanting and she had a pretty good time went out for uh, breakfast with her dad anyways um, so what am I going to talk about today? Um, I've been working on some things for the podcast, um, like a format for the show, and I have a brother that's down from the state capitol, and tomorrow we are planning on recording our first episode of the podcast that we're wanting to do together called Life According to Brothers. <coughs> Cough. So, there's that. I'm actually in my son's room right now. Um, he is not. He's sleeping in a co-sleeper in the bed in my bedroom next to my wife. Um, so I'm not going to wake him up. And everybody's asleep but me. And probably because I work night shift, so I don't really sleep at night very well. So, um, yeah, just a lot of things have been going on as far as uh, developing episodes um, and outlines, things for episodes on my podcast that I want to do for my business. Um as well as the podcast to do uh, co-host with my brother. And then I have my own podcast, of course, Exposing Me. And I need to record an episode of that again pretty soon. The last one I released was last Friday. And I want to keep it on a weekly basis, so I may have to squeak one out tomorrow. And I have an idea of what I want to talk about. Probably, I'm kind of like, I'm not sure what the term would be for it. But um, basically on social media... And on the internet, when you ask someone to do something or to answer a question or you just ask a question in general, how few people actually take the time to answer it? Um, like on Facebook, if you post something out there asking a question, you may have a couple people answer, answer it. I guess it probably just has to do with the type of people that you have um, as your friends and in your network. But I find that... Uh, for me, there are a couple of people that will answer. I guess it dep depends on the type of question. And then on uh, like my podcast or in YouTube videos, when you ask people to do something, um, how little, if any, response you may get from it. Um, like if you ask someone to actually go to a website and leave a comment or look you up on Facebook and leave a comment, how much effort does it really take to do that? How much time does it really take to do that? Maybe a couple minutes. But still, most people are unwilling to do that, and I'm not sure how to get really to really get past that. I know for people that we really feel connected to and that we we care about, and the people that we um, value their opinion, and um, we'll do things for them that we won't do for you know some stranger. Um, but I wonder why is that? You know, it takes so little effort you know, especially today with all the technology that we have and all the ways that we have to um, go about doing these things you know why are we so reluctant or I don't know if it would be considered um, being lazy or not because it doesn't take any physical effort hardly at all to you know tap on a screen type in a couple of things go to a website leave a comment something like that so why are people so reluctant in general in general, why are people so reluctant to, um, you know, take a few minutes or less to go somewhere and um, leave comments and uh, like a, th a thoughtful comment? You know, it's not really that difficult to, you know, think of an answer to a question or if you don't even have an answer, say that I'm not really sure. I thought of the same thing. You know, maybe it's this, maybe it's that, or you know, I haven't been able to find the answer too, and then just leave that as comment. Um, so, I don't know, do you have any questions? Or do you have any thoughts on why this may be? Um, 
whenever you scroll through your Facebook and you see that someone has asked a question and you don't answer it, you don't leave a comment or anything else, why don't you? Um, because we can't leave comments to every single thing. Um, that everyone asks, you know, that we see. So we're not going to see everything that's asked because of the uh, the timelines and things like that. But when you see questions asked, that's like a general question uh, to everyone. Why do you not answer it? What do you look for? You know, why would you answer it? You know, um, is it because of the person directly, or is it because the question? Then you really like the question, you want to answer, and you have strong feelings, or you have a a strong thought on the um, the question or the idea behind the question so what makes you answer questions that are asked like on Twitter Facebook LinkedIn whatever it is that you may use you know what compels you to actually engage in that conversation and answer that question um, so that's, that's my question to you so you can of course find me on Facebook you can um, find me at Exposing Me. That's my page on Facebook. You can go to ExposingMe.com. You can leave a comment there. Um, you can um, find me on Twitter at Exposing Me. X P O S I N G M E. Um, you can comment on this video on YouTube. Uh, so there are many different ways. You can send me an email. You can email me at um, Ethan. It's E T H A N at Exposing Me. X P O S I N G M E dot com. And yeah, so that's going to be the video for tonight. Um, I'm going to upload this, and I will see you all tomorrow.